before anything happens, basically just forgive me. I've never done any kind of video like this or anything of that nature. What I'm going to try to do is do a book haul video for January 2014. And I'm going to start at the beginning. First book I got in January was The Call The Chinatown Death Cloud Peril by Paul Malmont. I don't know much about it except it's based in like the 20s and such, but it's got a zombified HP Lovecraft, and I'm a huge HP Lovecraft fan, so you got my attention there. The next one I got was Defy by what was this? Sarah B. Larson. I just finished this one yesterday, and it's good. It, for a debut novel, it's really good, but there's a bunch of stuff missing, and that's the part I didn't like. I don't want to give in too much like spoiler details, but it, it has like segments just not there. It's like, okay, well, this happened, this happened, but how did you get to that? Other than that, it's a really good book, and it needs to get more exposure because it really was a good debut novel. After that, I got a book called Moon Called by uh, Patricia Briggs. Yeah, somebody has it right now because it's so awesome. I told them they need to read it ASAP. I read it in three days, and it was good. So, of course, when I did that, I went back and got the second one, Bloodbound. That one... You see the bookmark in the top? I've already started this one and I shouldn't because I'm reading too many other books. But Moon Call was really good. If you like werewolves and shapeshifters that aren't werewolves, that are really hot, you'll like it. I'm looking forward to that one actually. The Bloodbound, I'm looking really forward to it. The next one I got was Mistborn by Brian Sanderson. I've read, I know I've read The Emperor's Soul by him, a novella, and I want to say I've read one more thing by him, and I can't remember, but I really enjoy his writing. I think he does a really good job, like, bringing in characters and, like, setting up plot. It sounds so cliche, but it's true. I do enjoy Brandon Sanderson stuff, and I'm looking forward to this one. I've been told that I may not like the female character in this. I don't know, but I'm still looking forward to it. Uh, after that, I was watching what was it, Katie Tastic, but I'm pretty sure anybody who looks up booktubers will see her videos. And she pulled up a book by Libba Bray called The Diviners. And I was like, the cover has me interested. Of course, it was a different cover mm -hmm. than this one. But she said it's creepy. I like creepy. And she said it was really good, so I'm going to take her word for it. She's done a few other book reviews, which I agree with, and it's creepy. What what can I not like about that? After that, I went and had like a, a fun time at the flea market. Let's put it that way. I met up with some friends, and we went and just like scurried around the book section place. And one of the things I found was... The Bicentennial Man and Other Stories by Isaac Asimov. It's Asimov. Enough said. <laughs> After that, I found The Tale of Genji by uh, Lady Murasaki. And I'm a Japanophile. I love just about everything that's like Japan related. So I saw this and it's like, oh, it's one of the earliest like novels of Japan's literature. That makes sense. And I was like, I have to get it. So I went and got this, and I'm extremely excited to read it, even though I know it's going to be probably dated, well, like the wording and everything, because this is the 1955 version. But still, it's the tale of Kenji. After that, uh, it seems I was in still the Japan mindset, or something like that, and I got... Yamato 2. I actually last month got the first one at a used bookstore. I know nothing about these, but obviously from the name, it has some kind of Japanese culture mixed in. 
Yamato, A Rage in Heaven, and Yamato, The Way of the Warrior, by Ken Kato. I, I'm assuming that's how it pronounced his last name. <laughs> He's even like a like a shogun person ish on the cover. And then on the second one, you got like a spaceship. So I really have no idea what to expect out of these books, but they were cheap and they look like fun. After that, I got a book which uh, a person at the flea market was recommending. But well, the, the person at the flea market, her son, something like that. And it's I'm already right, gonna screw this up. Red Wall by Brian Jacques. I don't do French, so yeah. If I'm saying it wrong, please forgive me. He uh, he, I looked him up on Wiki and I found out he passed away about a few years ago. So I'm sad that I couldn't find out about him sooner because it just sucks. I don't like to find authors who are dead. If that makes sense too. But it's a little mouse. See on the cover? I'm guessing. I, I don't know too much about this. But his adventures and from what I've like little reviews and stuff I read about it, it's supposed to be really like heart wrenching kind of stuff. And I contacted one of my friends about it and she read the fourth, third or fourth book in the series. And she said it made her cry. So I'm, I'm if it can pull on my heartstrings, by all means, let it pull on my heartstrings. After that, I got a slightly beat up copy mm -hmm. of Hello, Tom. Ada by Vladimir Novikov. Uh, Lolita is probably one of my favorite novels. Don't hate me for that because it's not the. Mm, let's see, how do we say this? The love interest aspect of the story. I love the writing. In Lolita, it's his third freaking language, and he writes better than half the people writing today. But the way he describes the U.S. in the 1950s, the, the plot structure, just how it's about a guy in prison recounting everything, so what is real, what is not. Lolita is one of my favorite books. I have to, well, I don't have to, but I should. Yeah, I have to. One of my friends is trying to do a big book, read a big book every month. And this was the second book. The first one's Moby Dick, and I haven't finished that yet, but I can't tell him. Uh, so I'm looking forward to this just because it's. I mean, it's not golf. Come on, it's great. I wish I didn't have a dust jacket that was tore. But I got flea market, so still this is in like the 1960s version, so. Still exciting. Still fun to get to. After that, oh, after that. Lovecraft. The Tomb and Other Tales. As I said in the other one, I or before, I love Lovecraft. So a lot of people give him flack for just the he what is it? the sentences go on and on and on. He's describing just looking at the door, but the door is desolate and grim and bleak and everything is dead and I like that. I love the poetry of his language. So mm -hmm. I've had many won't you stop going off phone? <laughs> My phone is buzzing beside me. But again, I don't know how to do this, so it's probably just gonna be a straight up video where I just upload YouTube without anything on. <laughs> no intros, no nothing. But we'll get to that in another time. Back to Lovecraft. <laughs> I like Lovecraft a lot. And I'm excited to read this. Ah, now the one that I'm currently reading. Dead to You by Lisa McMahon. I've read the Wake trilogy and loved it. I'm curious because I heard a rumor that Miley Cyrus is going to be playing the big part and I don't quite agree with that but that that's just because it's different here to my head but we'll see everything changes I don't know I haven't looked into any detail on that to see who's playing or if there's still a movie coming out for it but there is I'll go watch it this book I'm a little over halfway and I'm really enjoying it 
always you to hurry up on certain things, but the suspense is good. So I'm really glad I'm reading this and I want to finish it hopefully today. But finally, the last book that I bought in January. Beautiful Creatures by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Don't judge me. I bought it strictly to see what the hype was about. I did the same thing for Harry Potter. I didn't know what was going on. This was four or five, six years ago. I didn't know anything about it. I only heard people say, it's great, it's great. So I picked up Beautiful Creatures thinking the same thing. We'll see how it is. I haven't read it yet. I don't know anything about it. I haven't watched any of the previews. I haven't heard anybody say anything except it's good. So I don't know. I may like it. I may hate it. We'll see. But that's all that I got in January. That's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, thirteen books. Lucky thirteen. I got it in January. No, that's not counting all the manga I got too. That's every video. But this is my first video that I'm hoping to do more of. But it's my January 2014 book haul. And I hope I didn't bore too many people. But remember, this is my first time, so I don't know exactly how to do this. I'm still learning. And I look like crap because I'm still partly sick. <laughs> That's another thing. So here is me just being me. There's no cover, there's no nothing, no photoshops, no nothing. It's just raw me. But I'm at 11 or 12 minutes. I think I need to end this. So if you watched it, thank you. And hopefully I'll have a video soon. We'll see. Hopefully it'll be a lot better edited. And probably not. I don't sound as bad. 